Justice League number 32 by Robert Venditti and Liam Sharp. Before Cyborg was transformed, he was a stellar football standout being pursued by several colleges. But it was more than his ability that made him great, it was his team. Today his new team, minus Superman and Batman, find themselves spread across the globe, now being pursued by several Dark Matter versions of Batman himself. Beneath Central City, Flash runs from the Red Death across sand, before it slowly dissipates and reveals a huge Flashmobile. All the while being begged by Bruce inside its head to stop, he hails the entire motorcade to assist in his madness. Meanwhile below Amnesty Bay, Aquaman calls out to the Drowned, a macabre version of Bruce before being approached by a hulking underwater beast. Riding on his back appears a weird bat Mera, enraged and commanding the monster to attack. Beneath Argus HQ, Wonder Woman squares off with the Merciless, and though armed with weapons taken from the gods he's killed, is goaded by her into a fistfight. Revealing that some of his moves were actually taught to him by the princess, he pulls out a massive sledgehammer and walks to a gong-like coin melted down from the coins of dead Amazons seeking afterlife passage. He rings it, and their souls appear, seeking revenge and headed towards Wonder Woman. And underneath Korst City, Hal Jordan speaks his lantern oath, but it's rendered useless by the Dawnbreaker, yet another Batman, but this one in possession of a lantern ring. The issue wraps with Cyborg revealing that they have one secret weapon, him. He rides in apparent pain being connected by scores of cables and wires in the Batman Who Laughs Dark Realm. What that secret weapon is will have to wait though, as this issue is left to be continued. Though I was aware that Brian Hitch was leaving this book, I was not aware that he wouldn't be writing the metal tie-ins. Robert Venditti did the best he could, I suppose, given the fact that DC just sweeps over massive plot points with no build-up. There was a few issues and one-shots that are coming out that piece this arc together, but it's frustrating that they didn't have at least one issue in the series that didn't transition it before just putting them all in this situation. The Justice Kids took off in issue number 31, and suddenly, the entire team is in trouble and Batman and Superman are missing. Kinda lame. I give this one a 6 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.